big bubble. Okay, I'll just have to take this other big bubble. Okay, that better? I hope so. If not, sorry, I'm trying. I swear I'll get this down one of these days. Okay, so, uh, okay. Oh, I love that everyone's tapping their hearts. Okay. Anyway, Derek told me I need to work on my produ production quality better. Uh, better camera angles. <laughs> he said otherwise it's not so attractive. I guess maybe he doesn't, he doesn't appreciate my under chin. I guess I could work on that a little bit. Anywho, uh, I'll get there. Just give me some time. The, the reality is I've been incredibly busy the last couple of days, and there have actually been some things I've wanted to get done and haven't gotten done, but I promise you uh, that I am on my way to trying to get some of this stuff uh, perfected a little bit. I've never done this, and I told Derek today we were talking about I'm like, you know this, I'm not very good at this stuff. This is not my, um, this is not my forte. Anyway, uh, Richie says, Derek has his way, you have yours. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of true. We do have a difference in the way we do things. Uh, child labor with the bubbles. Uh, yes, it's true. Romy is hard at work with the bubbles tonight. Say hello to everybody. Hi. Uh, <laughs> so we'll get there. We'll get there, I promise. Uh, maybe I'll get myself like a some kind of tripod situation. I don't know why this is the motion for tripod, but uh, I will try to get some kind of tripod situation to make this look a little bit better in the very near future. Maybe a selfie stick. I, I don't know. Uh, Yuri is sad that you got canceled. He called Frank's show today. Oh, poor Yuri. Oh, that actually makes me sad hearing that. You know, believe it or not, I actually kind of loved Yuri and all of his weirdness. And yes, he was uh, weird. But... I did kind of love Yuri, and, and I, but I always was that way. Whenever it came to strange, strange, like, bizarre callers, um, Ryan Connecticut is a great example of that. Uh, I just, I kind of would fall in love with the weird ones, and so I always tolerated them a little bit more than Derek did, and I kind of loved them. So, yeah, uh, yeah, so I'm sad that Yuri is sad that actually makes me feel kind of bad okay so today I am wearing a Madonna shirt see little Madonna for you Madonna. now I'm sure that some of you are aware of why <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think it's because um, it seems Madonna has replaced me on LQ what I mean let me tell you a little something about Madonna I love Madonna. Believe it or not, I don't know if you guys really know this about me, but I love Madonna. When I was in high school, I was obsessed with Madonna. And I actually, what, what made me obsessed with her is uh, kind of her savvy when it comes to media. Uh, I love how ambitious she was. I really... I really thought this is a brilliant, brilliant woman, and I really admired a lot of qualities in her. And so... The idea of Madonna replacing me is, I mean, not the worst thing in the world. Okay, for me, for you, maybe. Uh, but, uh, you know, for me, it's kind of funny. I kind of chuckled that I'm being replaced by Madonna. And her crow hands, yes. Uh, I know that many of you are upset by the replacement of Derek and Romaine. I get it. Uh, it's not Derek and Romaine, and for 12 years you've had us, and anything different is going to be a lot to adjust to and change with, and I get that. So, you know, I just want you guys to know that, you know, Mommy, don't feel bad. Okay, I will, I will hold this. Um, there's the bubbles. Uh, I know you guys feel bad, but um, don't feel bad for Derek and Romaine. We're going to be okay. We have a big meeting tomorrow. I'll let you know how that goes. Uh, what the fuck, Madonna's on LQ. Well, not technically. I mean, yes, she is. They're playing a lot of Madonna music, is what I understand. Uh, and some Beyonce. I mean, wow. Those are some big names to replace Derek and Romaine. <laughs> uh, so, anywho. So, I, you know, I just wanted to say, I did hear a rumor that a music something was going to be what was replacing us. Uh, and it seems that uh, that rumor was true. 
And there, there he goes. Uh, look, I'm wearing another cute hat. Today I'm wearing one of my romaine hats. This is an old hat. Uh, years ago, uh, I had them made because I found it really hard to get the old serious hats with the little dog on it. I have one. I'll try to wear it one of these days. Maybe. Mm, eh, maybe not. Uh, and because I couldn't find uh, any more of those hats, I eventually went out and said, why am, I, why am I promoting other people when I should be promoting myself? So I got romaine hats, and they all have different R's on them. Yeah. Uh, whoa, that is a big bubble behind me, <laughs> Romy. So anywho, so that's where my uh, hat came from. And today, I brought something, I hope Norma's tuned in, or Paul, or someone, because today I brought something uh, that I wanted to show you guys. So over the years, I collected things on my desk at the office that were, I, I call them my happy things. So on days when I was having a shitty day, I would just kind of look to the side of my desk and there would be little things there that just kind of filled me with love and warmth and made me feel good. They're my happy things. Uh, I told you the other day about the little heart that had the words fuck you on it that I left behind when I left the uh, building the other day. So one of the things that I have there, you know, I am an aunt to many, 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 many children. I have uh, seven brothers and sisters and they had a lot of kids. And so my friend Norma, who is a brilliant gift giver, I might add, uh, got me an, a, 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 an, an aunt cup. So it says aunt. But as you notice, the handle is strategically there so it reads a cut. cup that just says cunt <laughs> so here's to you Madonna here's to you Beyonce here's to you Derek mm. Mm. moonshine tastes good tonight oh, gosh and yes I'm drinking moonshine out of a cunt cup uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay, uh, switching to music does not seem like a good sign for the other hosts on the channel. I mean, there's been music on OutQ all along. It always seems like a strange choice to me since OutQ uh, is a talk channel. And it's played in mono versus stereo, uh, which is, you guys know what that is. So I, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me either, but, uh, you know. I'm not, I don't, ma I don't manage that, that channel. I don't, I don't make those decisions. Uh, and so I can't tell you why they made that decision. I, I don't know. Throw me. I don't know if you guys can hear in the background. My wife is busy doing laundry. <laughs> I didn't think, I didn't, I didn't think about that when I uh, started this broadcast that, that the old, uh, washing machine would be so loud, but it's down here, not, not far away. Anywho. Okay, so, uh, I had some things I wanted to talk about today, and I will try to pay attention to your messages as I do it. Um, so, I got a really lovely call from Miss Tiger. Now, I know Miss Tiger was a very controversial and polarizing uh, reoccurring guest on our show. The same could be said for, for several different guests. Head of Lettuce was one, uh, even Lady Bunny. Um, and the thing is, what I, you know, Miss Tiger was an intern on our show, Intern Eric, and the reason we put Miss Tiger on the show is because I really believed that he had an interesting point of view and an interesting voice and I really liked that he kind of brought a little bit of that edgy, uh, raunchy sexual talk to the uh, show that, you know, I mean, listen, I love Derek, but he didn't like to talk about a lot of gay sex. He wasn't really interested in that. Uh, he kept his sex life very personal, which I, I completely respect and understand. What I liked about Miss Tiger was she came and she was willing to talk about those things. And I felt like, you know, I can talk a lot about sex, but I'm not a gay man and I, and I couldn't speak to the gay men in our audience. And I thought Miss Tiger did a pretty good job of doing that. I know a lot of people didn't like her, but I know a lot of people loved her. And um, yesterday, I really got uh, a wonderful call from, from Eric. And he was just so sweet and so kind. And, um, you know, his call really, really hit home for me that, 
You know, over the years on the show, whether it was Katie or Crisco or Eric or so many other interns, the show really was a launching pad for a lot of careers uh, in the entertainment industry. And part of the reason for that is because Derek and I really strongly believed in cultivating an environment where interns could learn and uh, everything they could learn in that building, we wanted to teach them. And so we went out of our way to make sure that we did that. And I think that, you know, the successes that they have had outside of Sirius and some of them within Sirius really, really show that that is what happened. And, um, and you know, when Katie took over our internship program, when she became the producer, she too was, she was so great. Greg, yes, Greg started as an intern on the show, Greg the Cupcake. And um, there were a lot of great... There were a lot of great interns that we had the pleasure of working with, and um, it really it really warms my heart, and it makes me feel really good that we were able to start some young people out on careers that would ultimately become very successful. That that's a really good feeling, and that's one of the legacies of the show at SiriusXM. Uh, uh, Dan would like to know what Katie is doing now. My understanding is that Katie is now producing another show. I think a morning show. Um, I think Wake Up with Taylor is the show she got put on, but I, I'm not, don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% certain. Um, but, uh, I believe that's where she will be, uh, from here on out. Uh, whether or not she'll stay there or not, or if they'll move her to a, a different job, I don't know, but I'm glad that she has a job because she's a great producer and we were incredibly lucky to have her. Okay, hold on. Please stop. What? What did we talk about? No being silly. Oh, she loves to be silly. Uh, Katie was with Derek last night at some bear thing. Oh, I bet you're talking about the um, the Broadway Bears event. She did go to Broadway Bears with Derek, and they had a great time. And then, oh, poor Katie. She ended up getting food poisoning in the middle of the night and was sick as a dog. I mean, she was really sick because I was talking to her the next day. And uh, she's like, oh, my God, I'm so sick. And it was supposed to be the first day at her new, uh, new producing gig. And I was like, oh, my God, you poor thing. Um... But Katie is doing Katie is doing as well as can be expected, uh, given all the changes. Romy, they think you're adorable. What do you think about that? I like it. Of course you do. Mm. Romy had a uh, Romy had a date today with her boyfriend Cody Man. I took them to go see the movies. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Uh, Ugh, no more gay days, Disneyland. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I am a Disney freak after all, and uh, you never know. I I might make an appearance at Gay Days Disney uh, just because I love it, and uh, I would happily go there even on my own dime if I had to uh, because I, my it's, new water bottle. it's one of my favorite events. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, wander off. Go play. Go while I talk to my friends. Okay. <laughs> Are you bringing Cody to Denver? Well, Romy told me if we do move to Denver, that we have to bring Cody with us. So, maybe? <laughs> I mean, I don't know how his parents would feel if we uh, kidnapped him, but we certainly bring would attempt. Bring your parents with him. Okay. But I will tell you this. If you are going to be on the Derek and Romaine cruise in November and we are still booking, um, we are still booking cabins for that cruise, uh, Cody Man will be there. And so will his big brother Dylan and so will his parents who I adore. So if you want to see them and meet them, come on the cruise in November. We're going to have a great time. Cody, Cody, Cody. Uh, people asked what's in Denver. My family's in Denver and, you know, I grew up in Wyoming. I know many of you know that. Uh, and I lived in Denver right out of high school I moved down to Denver and I love that it's a city I've loved for pretty much my whole life and while I while in my 20s I was excited to get to New York City and have a great time and explore and uh, try to chase my dreams I would like to get back home the older I get the more um, I feel like home beckons and uh, I would like to get back there at some point so maybe not now maybe we'll see who knows uh, you can always work at Diedrich's again. Uh, I don't even think Diedrich's is a thing anymore. Uh, although, I, if I did move to Denver, I think I would make it a goal to open that coffee shop at some point that I dream of uh, opening. You know, that's my retirement plan, and I wouldn't mind, wouldn't mind uh, doing that. So, 
I can go to a Rockies game. God, it's been a million years since I've been to a Rockies game. But they do have that beautiful stadium, and I would love to get in, get in there and watch some games. It's actually, my favorite bar was right behind that stadium uh, when I was growing up and way underage and shouldn't have been going to bars. But there's this little bar called the Foxhole that I fucking loved. And every Sunday afternoon, that's where everyone in the gay community went for a good time and a pitcher of beer. Uh, so it sounds like DNR may have a few things in the works. Yes. We are certainly going to try to organize ourselves and possibly get something moving. Uh, we have a big meeting tomorrow that I'm, I'm feeling really good about, and hopefully it will lead to bigger and better things. Uh, but, you know, the reality is unemployment. Oh, it's a bitch, because you really don't know. You don't know what the opportunities are. <laughs> You don't know what's going to happen, and uh, we just have to wait, wait and see. Just Derek and you, uh, yes, Derek and I will be at the meeting together. That's all I'm going to say about the meeting right now, but yes, we're going to a meeting tomorrow, and yes, we will be together. So, we'll see. How about that? My daughter is crazy in the background. Even after I, even after I told her she had, to be, uh, she had to be good, she's not being good. She's a ham like uh like um like her mom uh before the meeting will we do a periscope oh i hadn't thought about that uh but derek and i will be together so maybe we will do a periscope that would be fun uh that actually would be uh, a lot of fun <laughs> so we'll see is the meeting with stern no, the meeting is not with Howard Stern. It's not. Uh, date night plan with Iris planned yet. Uh, when our schedules will allow. Iris has actually been really busy. Summer is a really busy time of year for, um, for Iris, so we'll see. The meeting is tomorrow afternoon at around, I don't know, like 3 o'clock Eastern time. So if we do one beforehand, that just be on the lookout around then. That's probably... That's probably um, roundabout when we might be able to do a periscope. So be on the lookout in the afternoon tomorrow if Derek and I are going to do a periscope together. My daughter has become a son. Bring this back on Daryl. <sighs> Is the meeting with Sirius XM people? No. We were canceled, people. Canceled. No more show on Sirius XM. It's now Madonna. No! Yeah, Romy expressed how we all feel. <laughs> Gotta love drama. Drama from your kids. Uh, Chris would like to know, how much notice did they give you? None. None. We went in for a meeting on Wednesday, and that was it. I'm gonna kill this hat. Please don't kill that hat. That's a very nice sombrero from Mexico. My sombrero! I do whatever I want with it. Oh, my God. Let me see if Iris will get rid of my child. Iris, will you wrangle our child, please? <laughs> okay. Oh. Yes, I know, Debbie. I know that's how we all feel. No more sugar for that Romy. She hasn't had any. She hasn't had any. This is just how she is. She's crazy. Uh, did you say you were getting a P.O. box? Yes, I am going to get a P.O. box. I would had hoped to do it today, but then my day got a little out of control and I didn't get to it. So uh, I'm going to try to stop by tomorrow. How's the hermit crab? Alive? There are two of them. They're fine. Uh, they're good. They're crabby. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they're crabs. Okay, so I. Uh, okay, hold on. Do you. Let's see. Or flying high from her date with Cody. Yes, she is flying high from her date with Cody. That is true. Um, if the meeting goes the right way, will it allow you to be on a national platform? I certainly hope so. That would be a nice uh, turn of events. Uh, but like I said, you know, the, our options are very open for Derek and I. We're going to spend as much time as we can trying to figure it out. And I promise you that you guys will be the first to know. Now, in that line of thinking, I do need to say the other thing that Derek told me today, which is very important. Uh, you know, as we move forward and as uh, we are trying to sell ourselves to different people and uh, trying to find a place to land, one of the most valuable things that you as our listeners can do for us, and this is, this is me being very serious right now, is you can follow us on all of our social networking, follow us on YouTube. 
Follow us on Twitter, Romaine33. Follow us on Periscope, uh, Facebook, all of those things, because I know those are places where uh, potential employers for a radio show will be looking to see what our fan base is like. So please, if you love us, please, please, please tell your friends that are listeners to follow, follow, follow us and actively engage with us. I mean, Derek and I are going to be doing our best to uh, be chatting with you and to be doing these periscopes. So certainly uh, that is something that you as our listeners, I know all of you want to do something to help us. That is something you can do to help us. So do that. <laughs> Let's get my, I would like to get my periscope uh, following as high as Derek's. He's ahead of me and I do not like that. I am very competitive and it does, even though he started doing this sooner than me, it makes me crazy that like 800 more of the bitches are following him than following me. It makes me crabby, but whatever. So please go and do that. That will, uh, that will, his crash today. Oh shit. I don't know why. Maybe got too many people in there. Um, but definitely follow us, follow us, follow us. That will make a big, big deal for Derek and Romain and, uh, it, it'll be great. Okay. So. What are some of the other things I wanted to talk to you about? Hold on. Let me look at my list. I keep making lists because it helps me. Um, so today I went and saw the Inside Out movie, which is a kid's movie, but I have to say it was pretty great. And uh, <laughs> there, it made me laugh, actually. It was very sad, and it kind of it kind of brought up a lot of emotion. I almost cried about four times. I legit almost cried four times. I, maybe it's just because I've been a little emotional lately. I'm not sure, but uh, I took Romy and uh, her boyfriend Cody, and I took uh, Dylan, and we went to the movies, and I loved it. Iris was pissed off at me, though, because I kind of just decided to do this at the last minute, and then I told Iris, I'm like, I'll be home late because I'm taking the kids to the movies. And she's like, oh, my God, why didn't you tell me sooner? I would come and join you. I'm like, I didn't know you'd be out of work so early. So I'm an asshole because I know she wanted to see the movie, but I went without her. Which makes me an asshole. And if she wanted to be on this video, she would come and tell you that I am, in fact, an asshole, but she's shy and doesn't want to be on camera. But what she's thinking in the other room, I can almost feel it from here, is, yeah, she's an asshole. But, anywho, I did take uh, the kids. It was super great. It's super... The, the best part of the movie... So, if you don't know anything about the movie, let me just kind of tell you what it's about. It's about all these little characters that live inside your brain that help you manage your emotions essentially they're you know they're what's pulling the pushing the buttons and triggering all of your emotions and all your all this stuff and helping you to create memories and the best part is when you get to see inside the heads of the adults because legit it's what you're thinking it's how you know if you had little voices inside your head it's exactly exactly what you would think was happening uh didn't you love sadness i did love sadness uh, my daughter wants to put a hanger over my head. I do not know why. <laughs> Mommy dearest. It's my outfit. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Anywho, so uh, I did love the movie. And I do think I do think that many of you should go see it. Even if you don't have kids, I'm telling you, it's a pretty sweet movie. It really is. And I do think that many of you would enjoy seeing Inside Out. And I'm not just saying that because I love Disney, but... You know I love Disney. Speaking of Disney, I thought I would uh, show you on occasion some of my Vinylmations. I know it's something that you guys have often wondered about on the show. I know it's something that I talk about a lot on the show. Mm. Damn, that's good. And I wanted to show you some of my custom Vinylmations because they really are some of my favorite Vinylmations. And this one that I'm going to show you is uh, a custom-made Ursula. This is the front of her. She's got these really cool tentacles that come off the side. Mommy, you're showing it. And this one uh, was actually uh, given to me as a gift from some of the cruise bitches that went on the first DNR cruise. This is the back of it. They actually found this artist online and uh, they convinced the artist to paint one of these for me. And what's interesting is, so with some of these custom vinylmations, they'll do like custom clay work uh, to kind of add to the 3D figure that is 
Mickey Mouse. Um, this is a this is an old mold, which won't make a lot of sense to a lot of you, but the mold has changed, the 3D mold that they use for Vinylmations. The original ones had the nose right here, and then they have like a, an outline of Mickey's eyes. You can't really see it, um, but it's there. And then uh, it had the buttons on the belly, which are now Ursula's boobs, but there are buttons under here as well. But I love this one, and I think, I don't know how he made these tentacles, the artist, but I think it's really cool. Um, and I believe the artist is, I just looked at the bottom to make sure I was right, is Rust This World is the name of the artist who created this one. But it's a super, super cool one. I have several Ursula Vinylmations that I will be showing you in the, the coming days as I show you some of my custom Vinylmations. But I actually, I love this. It's got floatsum and jetsum on the back. Ah! Mm, I love them. Chris wants to know, do you still have your Chinese Zodiac set from Tokyo Disney? Of course I do. Uh, Chris actually picked those up for me, and uh, they're in they're in one of the cases behind me. Uh, and I love that set. That's a, it's like this all gold and silver, uh, metallic looking set. It's a super cool set. I love it. Um, so anyway, so that's one of my vinyl nations. Uh, are they all that large? No, most vinyl nations are actually three inch. Uh, I only have a few of the bigger ones, um, and primarily the ones I have are customs. Uh, because sometimes an artist needs a little bit bigger room to do all that custom painting. The little ones, there are some artists out there who can do incredibly detailed work on the three inch model, but it's hard, especially if you're hand painting them. So I will show you some more of those. I've got some really cool ones. Um, I have a bunch of uh, Captain America ones that I bought for Iris that I had custom made and I'll show you those over the coming weeks and I have a really cool little Ursula one that I'm, I love and I'll show you, trust me, I'll show you a bunch of them uh, as we continue doing these periscopes and, and enjoying our uh, time together. Did you like Lava? Lava is the short film that is before the Inside Out movie. I thought it was really sweet. A little, God, Disney just likes to like yank on your heartstrings and then make you smile. I did like it. I thought it, I thought it was really sweet and really endearing. Um, so yes, I, I really, I really, I did love that. Two volcanoes are so love. The two volcanoes are so in love. I love you too, Dirty Dish. Thank you. Romy needs her own show. So cute and funny. I'm glad somebody thinks she's cute and funny. I think I want to strangle her about 99% of the time. Because <laughs> she makes me crazy. And you know, now that I'm unemployed, I get to spend all summer with her. All day. All summer. <sighs> I think I'm going to need one of those, what are the, Mommy's Little Helper Pills? So if you have some, whew, I'll take them. <laughs> in particular, I'm talking to my uh, friend Carrie in California. <laughs> uh, but her, she, is, she has been great because she has been going on our 30-minute walks with me, although last night she rode her big wheel, which was pretty funny, and... She was super fast in that. Oh, my God. The day before she took her scooter was not nearly as fast. Yesterday on her big wheel, she loved the hills, let's just say. She went down those hills like they were crazy. Super, super crazy. And uh, it was fun to watch. Anywho, all right. I feel like I've been going on for a while. Um, I hope that I filled some of your time with something other than music, other than my good friend Madonna. Vogue. <laughs> and uh, I promise that uh, longer, damn, <sighs> 30 minutes, I guess it's only been 30, so you want me to go to 40 minutes, that would, I just start, you guys, <laughs> all right, I will go for a few more minutes, uh, but you guys have to ask me some questions, though, that I have something to talk about, otherwise I'm just rambling, and that's just, that's just silly, uh, 25 more minutes, oh, come on, that is a long ass time. I'm not getting paid for this. You know, once upon a time, I got paid a lot of money to talk to you, but not kidding. I would do it for free, uh, at least for the time being, until we have something better. Uh, sexpert time. I will answer a sexpert question if you have one. I'm, I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, what's an, what's an appropriate length for nails? 
As in fingernails, if you're a lesbian, short. Not past the fingertip. Uh, what's the na next cake you have planned? I'm going to be making a, um, uh, a Minecraft cake for Romy's birthday. Have you heard the new Indigo Girls album? Not yet, but I'd love to. I, I, they're, they're two of my favorite artists, so I definitely will be picking that up as soon as I can because I love me the Indigo Girls. And they're really nice. They're really, you know, it's it's nice when um, artists are everything you'll think that you think they would be. And those are two women who are really sweet and really wonderful. Um, did you see the kid, the little Anakin kid, Anakin Skywalker from Star Wars is in jail? I did see that. That's sad. How much wood can wood chuck chuck? I, if he could chuck wood, I don't know. A little, a lot. I'm not really sure. Um, I haven't ever seen a wood chuck chuck wood. But we do have some that live around here, I think. Or at least they look like woodchucks. They're big, they're furry, and they're ugly. Uh, what's one topic that you always wanted to talk about on the show, but were censored? You, know, you guys just want to get me in trouble. Uh, I mean, not that I really can get in trouble anymore, right? Um, I mean, there are a few things. Uh, one, the, probably the one thing I would want to talk about, I won't. And the reason I won't talk about it is not because I can't talk about it, it but is because I refuse to give this human being even an ounce of my time. Uh, and I, you know, it, sometimes people just are not even worth saying bad shit about. And in this case, uh, there is someone I would totally tell you shit about, but I'm not going to tell you shit about him uh, right now. However, if Derek and I write a tell-all book, which we did discuss writing a book today, who knows, maybe there'll be a few chapters dedicated to that particular asshole. That's all I'll say about that. Are you growing tomatoes? I don't think Iris is growing uh, any tomatoes right now. And no, I'm not talking about Larry Flick, uh, Higgins Tom. Uh, uh, no, I don't think Iris is growing any tomatoes this year. I think, I don't know why. She's got a garden. She's got an earth box. She's got all the stuff she needs. She does. I just don't know why she's not growing any. Probably lazy. Or maybe she just hasn't had time. It's a, this is a really busy summer for movies. And I have a basket for picking them. Yep. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, you guys are too fast. <clears throat> have any past or guest or future bookings say anything about you being canceled like Ellen Ball? Um, <clears throat> yes, uh, there, uh, have been some great guests who have contacted both Derek and I, and everyone has just, you know, shared the same feeling. Maggie Furlong is someone who comes to mind, had a lettuce. I mean, everyone's been great. There have been so many great people who've just, you know, picked up the phone or dropped us an email or a message, and, um, it's been really great. So, uh, yeah, we've, we've heard from a lot of our past guests, and, and I think that if Derek and I continue doing something, we will certainly bring back some of our favorites because there are certain people that, you know, are like family to us. I mean, we've spent years getting to know them and, and spending time with them. And, uh, yeah. I can't answer that question or shouldn't answer that question. Uh... Okay, you guys have to ask me questions I can actually answer or want to answer. Are you enjoying that gorgeous Camaro this summer now that you have a little more time? I have been, Scott, I've been driving my Camaro every day. Unfortunately, it's been fucking raining, which is some bullshit, because I'd like to be able to put the top down and uh, enjoy the sunshine, because that would make me feel a lot better. But so far, it's been nothing but fucking rain here in New Jersey, and it's some bullshit. If you could steal Katie, will you? Yeah. She's a good producer. Yes, I would. Um, what did they tell Jackie Collins? I actually asked Katie to send Jackie Collins a message uh, to her publicist and let him know that, unfortunately, uh, she wasn't going to be able to be on the show. Um, I have a great deal of respect for Jackie Collins. She's always been one of my favorite, favorite guests. And uh, so, yeah, so we did let her know because just that's the right thing to do. You should drive it to Wyoming and pick me up. Well, I might be driving to Wyoming this summer. I am very strongly considering taking a road trip in the month of August out to Colorado and staying for a few weeks and uh, going to my niece's wedding, which I think I'm going to be officiating. So 
Yeah, that's a very good possibility, and I'm sure as shit not taking Iris's uh, Honda Accord across the country, because that's some boring shit. I would much rather drive my car. Plus, when I get to Wyoming, oh, I can finally open her up out on those roads. Oh, now that would be some fun, because there are no cops out there, and I can go super, super fast. Fuck yes. Woo! That would be fun. Oh, because I've always wanted to do that with her. She's got such a big engine. And I never get to really, I never really get to open it up. So, uh, she cursed you so you'd officiate the wedding. <laughs> My niece, possibly. Uh, guitar lessons. It is still on the agenda. Uh, it may have to be waiting a little bit because I don't have any money. Uh, but, uh, yes, I will, I will, uh, I will be getting Romy into guitar lessons. Um, six, is she a manual? She has manual capabilities, but no, she's an automatic. And she's a V8, and she's a beautiful, bright red Camaro, and I love her. And, oh, I love her so much. Mm, I love her so much. Sometimes I tell Iris I love my car more than her, and I mean it. <laughs> oh, I'm such a bad wife. Oh, well. <clears throat> yeah, six is an SS V8. Yes, that is what six is. She is a sweet fucking Camaro. And I promise you, I promise you, I will do a Periscope uh, either from within six or I will do a Periscope so you can see six. I know many of you have asked about uh, six. I don't know why you're all so obsessed with my car. Maybe because I'm obsessed with my car, but I promise you that I will, I will let you see her one of these days. I'd like to get her washed before I put her on camera. Uh, you're going to come out as one of those folks who love your car too much. No, that's fucked up. I haven't even had sex in her yet. Is that sad? I feel a little sad about that. I always want to have sex with me in six, which maybe is for the best. I don't want to get six dirty. Although I could fuck on the hood of her. That would be okay. I would do that. Well, maybe if Iris want to have sex with me in her, maybe I'll have to find someone who will. Hmm. Iris said, come around that corner. I swear to God, she's going to smack me upside the head. This is dangerous to do this show in the same house as Iris. You don't know it, but she's in the kitchen scowling at me right now. Oh, trust me. I know. Look at all those lovely hearts. You guys are so sweet. Uh, what am I waiting for? I told you, I have to wait until someone will have sex with me in my car. And my wife won't do it. Will you find a sugar mama? Well, right now, Iris is my sugar mama, so, uh, yes, and if I could find a better sugar mama, hell, I wouldn't say no. Okay, that's mean. I would say no, because I love my wife. Uh, let me see. Uh, love being in the car driving home with you on. Is that what you're doing right now? Drive carefully. I don't want you to drive off the road. That would be bad. Um, thanks for scoping so we don't have to miss you. You are very, very welcome. Uh, I do, I do, I'm glad that we can do this a little bit. Where are the cruise pictures? Uh, I have them. I swear, now that I have some free time, I will get it done. I'm the worst. I know I, you know, we always used to say Donnie is the worst, but really it's me. But I will try, I will try to get, uh, those up and posted for you guys. I just got it. You know what I need? And if one of you has any information that can help me, I would like one of those like free hosting sites where I can just dump them all. And then you guys can take, you guys can just take them off of this site. So if someone knows one of those, email me Romaine Patterson at Gmail. And, uh, I will, I will try to get on it. What's up with the new cruise? We're doing it. November 1st from New York city. It's live. It's Derek and Romaine. No, we will be doing we will be doing a November cruise and ooh, Dropbox. Okay, you guys all are saying Dropbox, so I guess I'll have to look into Dropbox. But uh, yes, the November cruise is on. It's happening. Derek and Romaine will be there. It may be the last one. It may not be the last one. We're really not sure yet, but that we are still booking people. So if you're interested in going on the Derek and Romaine cruise, go to DerekandRomaine.com or email us at dnrshow at gmail. Uh, so that we can uh, get you booked on there. I know that Derek is busy, busy, busy uh, getting people booked. You can put the photos on your Google+. Plus. Okay, I'll look into that too. I'm not very good with this techno technology shit. I'm a little slow. I'm like a grandma in that sense, but I'll try. 
I will definitely try. I'm trying to get to gay days. Well, gay days is pretty awesome. I don't blame you. Are there any other satellite radio stations that you could potentially work on? Well, I did ask if there were any uh, options on when we had our Sayonara thing, and I was told no, so maybe I guess not. Do you own the DNR copyright? Yes, we do. DNR show belongs to Derek and Romaine. Can we go back to a four-hour show? <laughs> uh, no, I will tell you that. No, 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 we cannot. Um, four hours is really a lot. It, it doesn't, I'm sure to you guys it doesn't feel like a lot, but it really is a lot of radio. We, Derek and I, when we moved to three hours, uh, we felt our show uh, was so much better because we were able to just put the important stuff into four hours, three hours versus four, and yet there wasn't a, there wasn't nearly as much of hem hawing and dragging stupid shit out to fill time because uh, three hours was just a much more concise amount of time for the show. So I would say at the most it'll be a three hour show if we get to do a show again, um, but that just remains to be seen. Although you know, it, a lot of it will depend on where we end up. Hi! Hi, Charlie. Uh, that was the sign of the end, though. No, I don't, I mean, I don't think that, I don't think it was. I mean, I, yes, I know that when the time slot shifted, there was, there was, you know, it wasn't what people thought it was going to be. I mean, you know, the, the people at the company really believed that uh, it was going to be something that made the, cho the channel and the show better, um, you know. I don't know that it worked, but I think that was the intention when they moved the show, and um, so, I, I mean, I guess you could say it was the beginning of the end, but I don't think that was what it was intended to be. All right, what else do we got? What else do you have to say? Have you tried tomboy underwear? I have not. Should I? Uh, is it comfortable? I like comfortable underwear. I used to wear uncomfortable underwear, but now I like comfortable underwear. Uh, cause you know, I got a big ass. <laughs> uh, okay. If, uh, if I wanted to listen to music, I would listen to one of those music channels. Well, the music channels are at least in stereo. I'll just leave that. While I sit from my cunt mug. Uh, today is no underwear day. Well, shit, I should go take mine off. And no, I do not wear granny panties. Thank you very much. That was just mean. Unbelievable. Would Madonna wear granny panties? No. Oh, yesterday was no panties day. Well, I did some no panty wearing yesterday, so now I feel a little bit better. <sighs> Boxers. No, that's too loosey-goosey. Usually when I'm not wearing underwear, I don't know, why am I telling you guys this shit? Is when I am in my pajamas. Then I just take off all my underwear and that's the way it goes. I just wear my shorts. I know it's weird, but it's what I do. Okay, you guys are getting me to admit stupid shit. I don't know if I like this. I'm going to keep drinking. We are one big gay family. Yes, Chris, we certainly are. We certainly are. A uh, lesbian trucker says she only wears boxers. And you find them comfortable? Really? Ugh, not for me. My favorite Ben and Jerry's flavor. I think it's fish food. Yeah, that's the one. I think it's fish food. I love it. Uh, fish food is good. Dildo Whisper. Nine years together, done everything. What can we do to get the excitement back? Threesome? Mm, I don't recommend threesomes for trying to get the excitement back. I actually recommend going back to the basics, going back to what it was like when you first started dating and doing some of those things again. You know, when you're in a relationship for a long time, you kind of stop caring as much about the little details and you got to get back to that stuff where you're trying to woo your partner, whether it's a man or a woman or whoever. You got to, here's the thing, you got to constantly be wooing them. You constantly have to be turning them on. Uh, you constantly have to be bringing yourself up to a level that is enticing. And if you're not enticing to, to yourself, you're certainly not going to be enticing to them. So I recommend getting back to basics. And remember, this is someone you will be courting for the rest of your life, if that is what you want. So start courting again. You should write two sex books, one for men and one for women. It's certainly on my list of things uh, to potentially do over the summer. 
Uh, will we will we still get a discount on boy butter from the sexpert? I will see about that. I know that uh, Tantus has not taken theirs down, or at least I don't think they have. So uh, at Tantus Inc, uh, DNR20 was their discount code where you get 20% off, and I'm sure you probably still can. So, and that's a, that's a kick-ass fucking discount, let me tell you. Go over to Iris and turn her on, then report back. <laughs> Please, she's in the kitchen cooking. She's not going to get turned on, although she's cooking bacon. I could smell it. And uh, so I'm not going to interrupt her while she's cooking me some bacon. Uh, still need that uh, Pro Flowers discount. Don't worry. I'm sure that uh, they're a pretty active advertiser on uh, SiriusXM. I'm sure you can get one there, uh, provided you're still subscribing. Uh, can you do uh, YouTube uh, sex toys? I probably can. I have a... I have a bunch of sex toys that I'm happy to show you and demonstrate. Not that way, but, you know, I could show you some fun tricks uh, that I've learned over the years with sex toys. Uh, yeah, I could probably bring out some sex toys and show you some stuff. Maybe. I don't know. I had to talk to some sex toy companies and get some new stuff. With Periscope, you can show us the toys. Yes, I can. And uh, I will see what I can do. I'll see. Please let them be new. You think I would show you used sex toys? That's disgusting. Oh, God. Do Dar Frank and Doria feel all alone now? I hope not. They have all of you, or most of you, I would think. So I would hope not. Uh, so, I mean, I think they've got lots of people. Sex toys and bacon. Yes, that sounds like a good evening to me. I think I should go and enjoy that. Now I have been on here long enough. If I've been on here long enough, I've been on here long enough. My, my listenership is dropping off. So I'm going to call it a night so that I can go enjoy some of that bacon my wife is cooking. And I will try to join you guys tomorrow. I will be in the city, uh, so it might be closer to 8 o'clock again like tonight uh, when I join you guys again in, rather than 6 o'clock. Again, I will post it up on my Facebook and my Twitter so that you know what time I will be going live on Periscope. And remember, if you're not following me on Twitter or on Facebook or any other social networking places, please, please do. It's very important. And do the same thing for Derek because that is probably the most important thing that you guys can do for us right now. All right. Kisses to the bitches. Good night. And I will talk to you guys as soon as I can. I will post all the social media sites, uh, Chris, on my Facebook tonight before I go to bed. All right. All right. Bye, bitches. We'll talk to you later. Maybe. What is my phone doing? Ah.